Hello everyone and welcome to another Tales from the Village Green episode. This is the lovely little suburban village of Kings Langley, which is on the outskirts of Hemel Hempstead in Hertfordshire. It's going to be a brilliant parish to cover at some point in the future, but here we were just passing through. However, there was enough time to capture perhaps the one thing that Kings Langley is most famed for. If you head towards the railway line in this place, you'll find an industrial estate. Opposite that estate, there's a road which I'm going to bet has a familiar name to most people, Ovaltine Drive. And yes, it's for the exact reason I'm sure you're all thinking of. This is the Art Deco facade of a former factory, which once produced Ovaltine. Now, for those who aren't familiar, Ovaltine is a brand of milk flavouring product made with malt extract, sugar and whey. It was designed by a chemist named Albert Wander and originated in Switzerland. Its name was originally Ovomaltine, coming from the Latin term ovum, meaning egg and malt, which were its key ingredients. Ovomaltine was exported to Britain as Ovaltine in 1909 and by 1915 it was being manufactured in North America too. Here in the UK, it was in Kings Langley where the Ovaltine factory was sited. It produced the drink until 2002. The factory hasn't been demolished though. The listed facade, designed in about 1923 by James Albert Bowden, is now all that's left and it stands alongside the railway line among a new housing development. The factory itself has been converted into a series of flats and duplexes. Nearby was the Ovaltine Egg Farm, which has been converted into energy efficient offices which house renewable energy systems. It's a major local landmark and it's well worth coming to see, especially if you like the drink. So there you go, next time you fancy a cup of Ovaltine before you get yourself into bed, you know a little bit more about it and where in the UK it was produced. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. 